just oozing with confidence and just know-how. So quick, so spiteful, and that all does stem from that sparring, like you say, from the reps, and there's just something about that club. If you've got that hard work. That. Oh, lovely left hand, what a shot. So similar to what he did Four. in his professional debut. Uh. And the referee taking up the count here, but it's a very groggy Samuel Takiri gets to his feet and it's all over. And it's almost a replay of his professional debut, a pinpoint counter left hand from Giorgio Vizioli, and that was mightily impressive. Into round three we move then, and according to Darren and Sonny alongside me, Connor Walker growing in confidence across that second round. Jermaine now will have to find something to get the respect of Walker, to slow down these onward advances of the man who caused that massive upset last time around. And he did find a little right hand at the start of this round, but he just shrugged it off. Walker, very cute and smart in attack. Yeah. Left hook's oh. doing the damage once again. That's been the key shot for Connor Walker so far, and Germain goes down for the first time in the third round, and there is still plenty of time here for Connor Walker to follow up. Bob Williams, the referee, is having a very good look at Germain here, and Connor Walker looking to build on that tremendous performance against Cyrus Pattinson. Big shot. Oh, tremendous confidence. Two. And he's fighting like a man with tremendous confidence as Germain is battered into the ropes, and so Bob Williams yeah. takes up the count for the second time. Maybe he's going to have a word here. Conor Walker has done that twice. And with the punch on the first ball, he's going to have eyes on him. Don't do it again. The last instruction from Bob Williams, but still over half the round for Lloyd Germain to survive here. Walker on the rampage here. Again, the left hook oh. sinks home to the body and to the chin as Jermaine tries to reply. Oh. Big shot again. Two. It's a right hand. And this time, the referee decides not to take up the count. And that was seriously, seriously smart from Connor Walker. And that was the indication of a boxer growing in confidence. He's just holding his feet a bit too much here, Donovan. And that's allowing Herrera to get close and land the shot. Oh, and he's letting his hands go the body, here. Yeah, the uppercuts, good variation from but Herrera. Will he leave himself exposed? Will this give Donovan the opportunities to show his power, to show his variety, and to show his class? Great exchanges there with both fighters letting their hands go. Very exciting fight to watch. Good uppercuts come in as well from Herrera. He's finding some success there when Paddy Donovan is sitting with him in the pocket. Well, the chances of Herrera were di dismissed by pretty much everybody during fight week. But at the start of the programme here tonight, Andy Lee in Donovan's corner saying that this would be a test for his man at the age of 25. Turned 25 earlier this month, did Donovan. Ooh. And now having to find the answers here as strong shots fired into the body from Herrera. And then again, they're very animated in the Argentine's corner. And I'm not sure if Donovan felt a couple of body shots there, because when they were landed in, his feet seemed to really slow. He looked to back off and try and open the ring, but straight here again. Now Herrera's on him. He's put a lot of work into those first four rounds. He was going and he was flowing, but when it gets a bit harder and the hour changes, can he keep it up? And the shots landing from Donovan in those replays, just showing the toughness of Herrera as we move into round seven and the Argentine swings around again at the beginning of the round. Lovely one too. Yeah, beautiful shot. When Paddy controlling the range there, touching away, adjusting his feet, and Herrera's trying to do the big loop and swing, that's when Paddy can keep making him pay. But when he's letting him get a bit closer, when he's holding his feet a little bit, the awkward shots, the cuffing, they're getting through, and eventually they're going to break the guard. Good shot, though, from Paddy Donovan as he steps into his back foot. You can also get Herrera to work without actually throwing a shot yourself to faint. He will. Just when questions Four. were being asked as to how Five. he would respond, Six. there is his answer. Seven. A broken man. Yeah. Straight up. 
two minutes to go in the round now for Donovan to apply the pressure. I'm surprised how quick he was able to get up that bullet. He's coming up here now. He looked as though he might be down for the full count, but he's in big trouble. He's trying to make his way down. He's half bending over, killing over Herrera here. Desperately trying to cover up now is Herrera. Two, three, Doesn't want to take any more four, of those body shots. Five, six, seven, and still the eight, corner of Herrera. Furious at Donovan and the way he's hitting after the referee at full stop. And now he fires in again and the referee decides this time Herrera has taken it up. Herrera is absolutely furious. But Paddy Donovan has broken through, starting with that ferocious body shot and then following up. And in the end, turning back what was the toughest test of his professional career. McCarthy was getting a stern talking to from Paddy Gallagher, the ex-pro who beat Callum Smith in the Commonwealth Games in the final in 2010. Chev Clark now, can he follow up on that brilliant finish to the third round? As Andy was saying, McCarthy went back to his corner on wobbly legs and that right hand gets through once again. What will the response be from McCarthy? Very little so far. Yeah, he's holding his feet. Sitting on the ropes, McCarthy. Oh, the uppercut's raining in. Oh, and this is tremendous Two, work with the right hand from three, Shep Clark. Four, and McCarthy five, now down and heavily six, down. Seven, will he find the motivation eight, to rise to his feet nine, here? What will be the verdict of the referee? Will he allow McCarthy to continue here? These are desperate times for the former European champion. And still two minutes to go in the round. He's a very good finisher, Clark, and I don't think he wants much more of this, McCarthy. Gamely coming back with the right hand, but this is good pressure, good work from Clark. Working the body. Refusing to allow McCarthy to escape, and McCarthy almost sank to his knees once again. And he looks like a beaten man. The expression on his face now. What has he got left, if anything? Another right uppercut from Chef Clark. That's worked so well for him Good so stuff. far. Tommy McCarthy showing all the signs of a beaten man, and so the referee steps in, and that's a good stoppage. Lovely body shot from Cracker. from the 10th knockdown in his career. And now the crowd rise to Lewis Crocker and impel him to press forward now and to force the finish. Felix under pressure on the ropes once again, still swinging is the Mexican. But it's Crocker on top, halfway stage of the fourth round. Oh, he's done so well, Mike, to get to his feet. Felix, you can see how much that body shot hurt him. And to still be stood there now after that attack afterwards from Crocker. Fair play to the Mexican, waving Felix on his Crocker. Looking so big, so dangerous right now. It was the first body shot that hurt. And the second one to put him down. Now he needs to touch upstairs Crocker and then go down and stairs again with the, with the hook. Looks like he's trying to just conserve his energy a little bit, Crocker, to put him on a big onslaught. After the knockdown. Just poking the shots out, Felix. Just trying to look for some sort of opening, but look at the shell. The tight guard from Crocker as he just walks forward. Very difficult to land anything. Again, I've said it a few times during this contest. So important, it cuts the ring down. Crocker. Especially when Phoenix is moving like this. That will allow the opportunity to land those shots to the body again. Oh, big left hook upstairs. And then he delivers another one downstairs. Beautifully timed, both of them. Good right hand from Felix. Got the attention of Crocker. Just sneak that in behind the left hand guard of Crocker. 
Felix, what a go. good right hook and I'm pretty start certain he felt that proper. Back on the front foot though, looking so strong. Oh, 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 tremendous finish. Brilliant timing Four. from Lewis Cocker. The referee Six. takes up the count. Will he get Seven. to his feet again for a second yeah. time? We thought he couldn't do first time now. And this time, Marcus McDonald pulls it all over. And celebrations for Lewis Crocker and his team. A superbly timed left hook. A shot that had brought him success earlier in the contest to the body and to the head. And this time, he delivered Felix into the ropes. And bravely, the Mexican got to his feet. But Marcus McDonald decided... He didn't have enough left in him to continue, and it's all over, and it's Lewis Crocker with a devastating finish.